again is the back of the S3. It's a Century Model 15 frame S3. The frame is where it gets its famous name, the S3 skeletal motor, because of its open design. This was uh, a design used on factory motors around the time this was made. By Century, this looks exactly like their industrial factory motors, this motor design. In fact, I have one in some of my other videos <coughs> of the PTC power tire pump. It's a 1914 electric motor. It's a very complicated motor inside of it. This fan weighs 22 pounds, and I think this motor weighs 19 of the 22 pounds, because when I took the motor out of the box, the motor was the heaviest component, because there is so many windings in there, and then this is heavy cast iron to go on top of that. I'm not positive, but I think this is a shaded pole motor. That motor is so complicated in there, I can't tell where there's any shading coils, if there is any, but I believe it is a shaded pole motor. There's no capacitors or anything on this anywhere that I can find. And uh, I put it on my watt meter last night and found out it's the most efficient 12 inch fan I own now. And on high, it only uses 80 watts. And yet it's slightly more powerful than my AUUGE. Here, let's turn it on. High speeds are interesting and quite rare at a fan made after the single digits. <clears throat> I think that fans with five speeds are phased out pretty much when the pancake motors went out. The bearings are still out of alignment a little bit. I need to figure out how to realign them. And when I'm realigning the bearings, I want to find out how you open up the motor housing on this. Because I think that if I keep the shaft from being pushed back into the motor housing, it'll stop making this awful noise. See, it tilted forward, it doesn't make that noise. You lean it back, you get it. I think that one of the bushings on the shaft must have uh, deteriorated. I think that's why it's doing this. But I don't want to damage my motor trying to open it until I find out how to do it exactly. And when I do finally get the motor opened up, I'll show how complex this motor really is from the inside out. See the blades come to kind of a quick stop. Uh, okay, well, oh yeah. This is also called the knuckle neck, how the motor mounts to the base here. You can rotate it around 360 degrees without stopping it until the cord wraps up. There's no thumb screws or anything to stop it from doing this, it just says that little thing right there. actually works very well. I like this a lot. The oscillator is one of the easiest oscillators I've ever seen to use. You just flip the lever and that's it. Flip it the other way and it locks it. And then if you don't want it where it's aimed, you just do that. You don't even have to turn the oscillator back on and position the fan where you want it positioned. You just swivel the head like so. So it's very efficient. It's actually not very loud at all. And it's very, very easy to use. I can get a close-up of that tag sometime, I will.